When this first came out though, not gonna lie, I thought it was kind of ugly. Hey everyone, it's Melody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. For today's video, I feel like this is a long-awaited video. I've been wanting to film this for since my birthday in October when I got this bag. I just haven't had the chance. It's already mid-January, so it's a bit delayed, but I feel like everybody enjoys my luxury bag unboxing review, so I thought I would do this anyways, even though it's a little late. <laughs> but as you can see from the title, and if you follow me on social media, I wear this bag everywhere. It's almost, it's in probably almost all of my photos on Instagram, but I just love it so much, and it's the Dior saddlebag. Okay, so I got this bag because I saw these two influencers that I love that have it and I was influenced by them. <laughs> and I really wanted a black bag. I don't have a luxury black bag, so when I saw this, I pretty much knew I had to get it, especially because they have gold accessories and Obviously, if you know me, you know I love my gold. Even my ring has gold, um, has a gold band, and I just only really wear gold. <laughs> so a little story time on how I got this bag. So it was my birthday around October, and I actually really wanted a Chanel bag, but Chanel's so expensive. It's super hard to find. So when my friends Ben and Mia went to Paris in October, I asked them to check out the Paris stores to see if they had it in stock, and obviously they didn't so I wanted to think of something else and it was my birthday so I kind of wanted to splurge on something usually when I buy luxury bags like this I usually only buy it on my birthday or I do it like every other birthday because you know they're pretty expensive but Ben and Mia were in Paris and I asked them to go to the Dior store to see if they had this bag and they did I was so excited so obviously in Paris it's a little bit cheaper for certain bags so I asked them to go see how much it was gonna be because I think in the US if I were to buy this bag it'd probably be like over four thousand dollars but because they were in Paris and then they had the tax what's it called the tax oh my gosh why do I always blink every single time I film a video but because of the tax refund is that what it's called I'll put it here if it's not but the tax refund let's just call it that I think I spent around 3000 so I, sp I saved around $1,000 because they picked this up for me in Paris and I'm so excited about it. I have nothing but good things to say about this bag. It actually is pretty sturdy and it fits a lot of stuff. Let's get into actually explaining and reviewing this bag because I've just been talking about how I got this bag. But also, definitely get your bags in Paris. I would highly suggest it because you save so much money on it. But anyways, I'm so happy with this. It has that yummy leather luxury brand smell. I don't know why, I just... I love just sniffing it for some reason, but let me open up. I've worn this so many times and I already have, let's see what's in my bag. Let's do a half what's in my bag review. Okay, actually I think I took stuff out. Oh, I have cards from when I went wedding dress shopping. I have a receipt. I actually just took stuff out of this bag because when I went home, I took this bag and I usually put like my lip balms, my lip glosses, uh, my credit card and what else my card holders in here but every time I come back home I always take it out oh I have a photo in here I forgot I had this uh, I went home this past weekend so I have these with Reg and Savs this is so cute I'm gonna hang this on my fridge I totally forgot it was in here is that it I think that's it yeah but the inside is like a velvety it has this really nice luxurious okay can you even see this it has a zipper in here where I usually put my credit cards if I don't want to take my whole card holder. This can actually fit so much stuff. If you, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I'm doing this. But if you look in here, pretty big. I don't really like to fit too much stuff. And it opens like pretty wide too. But yeah, I don't like to put too much stuff in here just in case the shape of the bag gets a little loose, you know. I feel like it's super sturdy. Like this is a little magnetic clip. I love the sound. Is it just me? 
anyone else love this sound they also have this in the mini size that i think is super cute too i kind of want to get the white one in the mini size because i already have this one too oh i was debating between white or black and i went with the black because i don't have any black bags and i feel like white gosh you can totally see the light behind me that i'm using but i feel like the black just like pops more i feel like it looks nicer i don't know the white one is nice too but i feel like a bigger black bag is what I needed at the time. Um, oh my gosh, sorry if this lighting is not the best. Okay, I'm not the best at keeping my bags um, like from scratching and I don't really put it in my dust bag, but I do not see any scratches on this at all. So I'm like so happy about that because I feel like usually my bags get dirty or like they get wet. I really need to work on that, but some of my LV bags, I feel like they have the little like watermarks on the side. But this one does not have it at all, and I just love it so much. It goes with every single outfit. When this first came out though, not gonna lie, I thought it was kind of ugly. Me and my friends would just make fun of it and be like, why does this look like a liver? You know, but obviously it's grown on me and I just love this so much. It has CD here. A little strap and you can also buy the straps the long straps like this but I actually really just really like it just like this I feel like with this strap is just too much and it it makes the bag look less classy than it is I don't know is it just me I just don't like the strap here there's like the Christian Dior strap and it's like chunky and a lot of people have that but I think this just looks really classy just like this and I sometimes wear it on the shoulder but usually I just wear it on my elbow like this and this just pairs with everything and I am so freaking excited about it. I feel like this whole review I've just been talking about random stuff and not really actually talking about the bag. There's a little, little Christian Dior label here and the zipper is really cute too. It has the gold accent on it. If you can see that. I don't even know if I can see that. <laughs> Yeah, highly recommend this bag. It's so cute and it is made very well. Oh, and there's also a little pocket here. I don't know why I forgot. I just never really put anything in here. So that's why I don't really, or I didn't talk about it earlier. But I feel like if I were to put something in there, it wouldn't be very safe. Like if I were to put it in here, like my cards and credit cards and stuff. So yeah, I don't really touch this much. But it'd be really good if you want to just put, I don't know, a little card like this in here. <laughs> If you don't want to open your whole bag, but I love this. The magnet is really strong here. So I like that. I love how this little D dangles like that. So cute. This is probably my most expensive bag that I've ever purchased, um, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, I think that is it. I don't know what else to say about this bag, but if you're looking to buy it, I support you 100%. You will not regret it. I seriously wear this bag everywhere. Thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. You'll find a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah.